Now, Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, is the prequel to the original Power franchise. Raising Canaan takes us back in time for the origin story of Canaan Stark, a drug dealer from New York City with a family who's also deep in the drug game. The other day, I spoke to Makai Curtis, who plays Canaan, and Patina Miller, who plays his mother, Raquel. And just like fans uh, of the series, they were anxious for the return of the show. So check it out. Patina, Makai, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. <laughs> <laughs> so we are so excited about season two, Raising Kaden. Tell everyone out there where we left off. Where we left off, well, there's a lot of cliffhangers. Um, if you've seen if you've seen the last episode, a lot of things um left for the audience to think about. Uh but not for long. Um, so where we let end is Kanan is off to Virginia and Rock is is in charge. Rock finally got the thing that she wanted, what she, has been, what she had been fighting for the entire season was to be on top. She got it, but with that comes uh, a lot of different things. Um, her son is now a changed person. Um, what she sent him to do was not follow through. So there is a new threat. There are a couple new threats within the new season. Rock is expanding her territory. And within that, um, new enemies, many new things to deal with. The family, the Thomas family, they're not getting along. They are, I wouldn't say they're not getting along, but they all are off doing their own things. And Rock is trying to bring everyone back to the center to focus on the main goal. And that is the family business. And so her and Kanan's relationship it is has changed and so you're watching this mother try to figure out where he is and assess all the damage that's been done and figure out how she's gonna you know you watch her kind of see like what she does to kind of get him back um so that's where we are yeah and patina playing a character like rock has to be uh in some ways really empowering like like you said she's on top now she is a boss not taking anything from anybody do you sometimes carry that uh, extreme energy home with you? Like, <laughs> you, yeah, like, yeah, you know, I've always been, I mean, I've always kind of carried that, you know, it's the, it's sort of that desire to be the best at, at what you do. And as an actor and having a dream of like, I've had a dream of doing what I'm doing now for, since I was really young. And so for me, it was all about like getting to that place and fighting and never letting up on the thing that I want and rock never lets up. And so I took that energy within me and sort of, I had to figure out along the way of my journey, learning to hold my head high and learning to believe in myself and know who I am and know that I'm enough. And so I think that's where rock is amazing is that she knows who she is. She doesn't put on for anyone. She just is who she is. You like her, or you don't. She's bad, she's good, she's all the things in between, but at the end of the day, she's gonna get what she wants. And so I could identify with that motivation. So, and of course I take it into my life every day now because I think it's a great way, it's a great thing to know your power, stand in your power and um, not apologize for that, so. Yeah, it's so powerful. And then Makai, this is a origin story kind of for Kanan, um, mm -hmm. is it, difficult to tap in now that we kind of know Kanan's fate and we're now pressing the rewind button. Um, so trying right. to find that lane to play a younger Kanan? No, it's actually easier uh, to, to play a younger Kanan knowing his fate, knowing, you know, the, the overall arc of everything. I think the challenge or the real work kind of comes in trying to just deconstruct all of that, you know, like putting the fate aside, putting all of that, just getting to the root of who Kanan was uh, in the original power and then trying to bring that to the, the, uh, the, the prequel was probably one of the biggest things. It was, was, you know, just figuring out the essence of like what 50 was doing with Kanan in that moment that I could still try to, you know, hold on to and have that continuity with as I move this character along. So it, it looks like he's on that same parallel plane of you know that's who we're turning into yeah and with this series we've kind of created this uh power universe with all mm -hmm. the spinoffs and and kind of putting all mm -hmm. these pieces together and with the pandemic i feel like we had to wait an extra long time i don't know if anybody else is feeling like that yeah. 
<laughs> for season two. How has the fan reaction been to finally, you know, get the release date and now we're coming up on, you know, finally letting it out to the fans? What have people been saying? We're lit. That's what people are saying. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh no. Everybody's super excited. I'm super excited. Yeah, we we've been we've been missing the, the Thomases and the Starks have been missing everybody and everybody's been missing the Thomases and the Starks. So for everybody to, you know, really be locked in on the countdown with us and ready to jump back into the, the roller coaster that is their yeah. lives, it's been it's been one of the greatest things, man. I love I love when people get to come up and they're 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 hot, they're happy, you know, they're showing love and it's just dope to be able to connect with people that connect with the show. Yeah, and also people have come back around, right? Like, you know, listen, our lives are very full. And so we've gotten a lot of people who have just started watching the show and who, who've become new fans. And so to hear, like, I just rewatched or, oh, oh my God, I just, I just finished it. I'm such a fan. So it's really been electric to, with over the course of the year, to, to bring on new people who, who now are fans of our show. And now here they are, we're about to start the second season and we can just continue the journey. But more than anything, people are just really excited to get Rock back into their lives, get Kanan, figure out what Kanan's going on, what Lulu's going to do. You know, they feel like they know these characters now because they've sat with them for a year as they've watched and rewatched the episodes and they're ready. They're ready for all the theories now. So it's cool. Yes, I, I can't wait. My family is obsessed with the series. So like you said, we're watching and rewatching and dissecting all the little pieces and oh, what's gonna happen yeah. in season two. So we are, you know, enjoying the countdown. We're so happy that it's here. Um, and I just thank both of you for stopping by and talking to me today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank I hope you enjoy it.